Hello, Gamer Nom is back. And in this video, I'm going to show you how I got 300 million before update 20 in Blocks Roots. But before we start, make sure your support by using Star Code Gamer Nom when purchasing Robux. 5% of the earnings will go to this channel. This will really help us make better videos. Hi guys, and I am back again. I decided to make this video because of these comments. Bro, 300 million cash, how? Don't worry, I'm gonna show you how I get it. This is still 300. 62 million boys, the richest, blah, blah blah bro I am not, there are other players that I know that is a lot richer Okay so this is how I got 300 million plus Again I am not claiming that and this is the best way to grind But it worked for me So for my requirements I'm gonna show you My build So first let's head to the mansion And change race Yes guys, you need this race Some of you may comment later that Gamer no, there is a better race Guys for me this is the race that works okay and that is not the angel race oh we're gonna spend another 3k fragments again it's not easy to get fragments to be honest there you go guys shark race okay so v3 is good but getting a v4 is a lot better it will make things a lot easier so there you go this is my requirement next stop for the fruit and you guess is the buddha fruit light fruit no guys i suggest a magma fruit Make sure that the Z and V skill is awakened and your stats uh, mostly on blocks words. If you can, make sure that it's full. Check this out, my master is not yet full on magma. Okay, F skill can also damage, which is really good, awakened one. X skill should not be awakened, okay? Okay, so time to head to the sea castle. This is where we're gonna start our grinding. Okay. Oh, I almost forgot for the accessory. It really depends on you. But if you're gonna ask me, hmm, I think I'm just gonna use the Pale Scarf. Yeah, Pale Scarf for increased damage. There you go. But if you wanna use other accessories, go for it. Okay, so next, time to get a ship. I don't suggest the Enforcer here because it has low HP. Flower or the Swan ship. Is it the Swan ship? So from here on guys, it will be based on luck. Again, this might not work for you, but again, this worked for me. So there are four sea events here, right? First is the Mirage Island, the other one is Pirate Ship, Sea Beast, and Rumbling Event. Oh, but before that guys, I have a 2 times game pass, 2 times money, which means I will get 2 times the money, not on chests, but on quests, as well as Sea Beasts and Rumbling Event. So as you can see, I already bought it. Again, I'm gonna remind you, this is based on luck. But before that, check this out guys, the power of magma fruit. Just in case, you're gonna fight ships. Actually, you're gonna fight lots of ships. I'm just gonna show you how to use it properly. Don't worry, you can get shards and fruit from this event in the sea. Okay, so here you go. As you can see, I'm not yet attacking. I am make sure that they line up, okay? Again, make sure that they line up before attacking the ships. Why? Because guys, my main target here is the big one. Okay? There you go. They're almost there. Okay, so we're gonna aim for the biggest ship. Use your Z and V skill. Okay? Also, make sure that they will get stuck in one area so that there will be additional damage per second. See that, guys? Still getting damage even though I'm not attacking it. And then that's it. See that? I was able to burst all three ships, focusing mainly on the biggest one. So it took me three more ship attacks or 20 minutes to just get one rambling event. So I'm not lucky today. Now the reason why Shark Race, guys, check this out. I got hit by the Sea Beast attack and I got pushed underwater, which means... Even though I am using Magma Fruit, Elemental Fruit users will get damage a lot underwater, right? And three Sea Beasts are attacking me, so it's really hard not to get hit. Next up, guys, aim at the middle and use all your skills. Why? Because three Sea Beasts will get damage if you hit them in the middle. I don't know why. <laughs> Their body's not touching this part of the water, but for some reason, they are all getting damage. There you go guys, as you can see, I am tanking their attacks, mainly because I am uh, race V4. Gamer Nom, is it possible if you're just uh, race V3 
three, yes, make sure to time your skill. Because again, your damage will increase, right? Every time you use your skill. There you go. Check this out. I am not getting damage underwater. No problem, right? Anyways, this will be fast now. There you go. For the first CVs, 409,000. For the next one, another 408,000. So that is a total of 800,000 plus for just two CVs, guys. <laughs> That's a lot. And for the final one, another 370,000 for a total of more than 1 million bellies per one rambling event. So is it worth it? 20 minutes? Sometimes I do get two rambling events in 20 minutes. But Gamer Gnome, what if I don't have everything that you mentioned? Guys, just use Light Fruit. So just head to the Haunted Castle. Guys, I'm going to show you this one. This will be fast. Chest Hunts. There you go. That's 1k, right? This will be fast, guys. This is the second one. That's 2k plus 2.6k, right? Okay. Two more golden chests here for a total of 10k. Okay. That's, that's just an estimate. And after that, head to the highest point of the Haunted Castle. Guys, two times money will not uh, take effect here because again, that will only affect uh, quests as well as CVs. So it's kind of slow, but this is the fastest way to go here using the Awakened Light Fruit F skill. There you go, 30k here for a total of 40 to 45k. And after that, guys, that's easy, right? Just change servers. I'm gonna show it to you. I'm in a public server. Also, guys, the CVs strategy, you need a private server there because if you will really, really get uh, attacked by pvp or bounty hunters okay so this is the other server okay that's the first one one four not bad heading to the other one but gamer no what if there are other players then just fly straight to the peak if, and if you don't see or get the chest then go to another server again right so guys if you have private server Everything will be a lot easier as long as no one's there. The chest will automatically spawn. Okay? So there you go. We're almost there. Okay. There you go, guys. Another three chests. Now we got 89,000 bellies in just two minutes. <laughs> okay, guys. So I think that's it for this video. I hope that you enjoy and learn something from this one. By the way, if you have other uh, strategies or uh, techniques, make sure to comment in the comment section and we're gonna try it. Actually, I've read some on the comment section in my previous video, so I'm gonna make a video of it and make sh I'm gonna make sure that I will mention your name, okay? So guys, what do you think? Sea Beast or Chest? Comment it in the comment section. Again, to all the viewers, subscribers, supporters, I really appreciate you all. This is Gamer Gnome. Gamer Gnome out!